Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk today about this piece of South African history about how King Dingane, uh, or some people say Dingane, um, was not a good guy. He killed Shaka Zulu in the coup um, that overthrew Shaka, and he was Shaka's half-brother. And he killed Shaka Zulu and took the throne himself. And then King Dingane also uh, made a false treaty with Pete Retief that he signed as well. Pete Retief signed, and the Vortrekkers... Um, Afrikaners that broke away from the Dutch East India Company and started their own life in South Africa called the Vortrekkers. They moved away from the Cape province. Well, the they the Zulus promised uh, the Afrikaners or the Vortrekkers uh, a section of the land, uh, King Dingane did, and the section of the land uh, was promised to them as long if the Vortrekkers went and got Dingane a bunch of cows that a rival tribe stole from Dingane. Well, the Vore Truckers did, and, excuse me, have to, that's my alarm clock, but I woke up early going to work on the night shift. But the Vore Truckers did, and, but um, then uh, Dingane said, leave your weapons here, we're going to take you to a show. But there was no show. Dingane massacred all the... Um, most of the Vortrekkers under Pete Retief's command, saving Pete Retief for last, and they stuck a bunch of spears up Pete Retief's uh, rectum. It shows you how cruel and barbaric King Dingane was. Um, I admire King Catchwayo of the Zulus. I admire Prince Boothalazy. There's a lot of Zulus I do admire, but King Dingane was not one of them. Um, I highly support the Nkatha Freedom Party, um, and I highly... Uh, admire a lot is about Zulu culture. That's a different video for a different day, though. But King Ningane was not a good guy. So, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless them. Bye-bye.